Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be rehauling a Michael Myers Halloween Kills Trick or Treat Studios mask. This one's an interesting one. Again, sculpt directly from the original master mold from the films. However, the paint job on this one is interesting. I'm going to start off by ripping off the first layer of hair. Spray it down with a white all over the mask. This one is a sort of cream white that I mixed just to kind of get that warmer tone to match the warm colors on the burnt side of the mask. Now you're probably going to want to go in and dremel before you spray your mask, which I forgot to do. Thankfully, it didn't cause too much trouble and I just reapplied the white. This is my color palette, once again using Mabry Monsters Nightshades. Next up, it's time to spray down the burnt side of the mask. I started with this yellow color, just sort of gradually building it up before moving on to this sort of caramel color blend that I created. Next up, it's time for our ink rub out, which is 30% India ink mixed with 70% isopropyl alcohol. I let this dry fully before I rubbed away the excess with an alcohol covered sponge. Just as I was with the 2018 mask, I was having a hard time bringing out the cracked details on the unburnt side of the mask, so I continue to reapply that rub out in different stages throughout the video. You'll notice that I used a little too much alcohol and started getting a little bit of the red from the blood splatter coming through underneath the white. I was a little worried about that, but I managed to blend it a little later on. Next up, I'm dry brushing some areas of a sort of gray charcoal color, which I'll be gradually building up to a full black over a series of dry brushes just to really bring out that texture that sort of layered, burnt latex look. Sometimes I use a chip brush, sometimes I use a sponge, and sometimes I just use a cheap artist brush. I really think that a variety of texture is the way to really sell the look of this mask. You do want to go in in some special, like certain areas and just try and use reference as much as you can to see which areas are especially burnt, such as the edges of the crack on the upper forehead. Here you'll see me reapplying the white in a dry brush just to sort of blend in the line between the unburnt side of the mask and the burnt side of the mask and bring back some of the areas in the, the chin where that white is a little bit more prevalent. I also end up going back onto the unburnt side with highlights of yellow.
Here I am applying a bit of black inside the shotgun wound and then starting to stipple on a very, very light pass of a brown mixed with red to get that dried blood look. The stock mask comes with that sort of freshly shot look with the blood pouring down his face. And I've seen a lot of other rehauls do this, but I personally prefer at the end of the movie where the blood is kind of dried and kind of has that like nasty rubbed away brown look. I try and add a little direction just to imply that the splatter once happened but has since been rubbed away as Michael has gone on his killing spree. Next up it's time to reapply the hair. The hair actually ended up coming off in one piece but I didn't like that even look, especially on the burnt side of the mask. So I sort of reapplied it in patches and tried to make it look like some of the first layer of hair has been burnt away. I'm reapplying this hair with mask latex. Next up, I'm doing a little bit of styling before I go in with a mix of mask latex and India ink to try and achieve that burnt texture. I really like what Trick or Treat Studios did with this on the stock mask. You can see that they have this uh, kind of crunchy effect on the burnt side of the mask. And I just wanted to continue what was already there as well as blend it further into the reapplied hair. Next up, just give it a spray with some hairspray and seal up your paint job. I use a Krylon matte spray here. Be careful or your paint job might crack. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. This is the third video in a series of four Michael Myers mask rehauls from Trick or Treat Studios in the anticipation of Halloween Ends, which comes out tomorrow. This has been a really fun project, and I hope to do a lot more videos like this in the future. Hope to see you next time.